Welcome to Lavanya's computer classes. In this video, I will explain indexing, indexing in DBMS. So what is indexing? What are the types of indexing? I will explain in this video. So first we go for what is the definition of an indexing? What is indexing means an index is a data structure which allows you to quickly retrieve records from a database file. So what is the index means? Index is like a data structure. What is the use of index means? It is used for quick retrieval the data from your database for example this is the database in this database database means collection of records if this is a database in this so many collection of records so much data you are stored like a student database in the student database serial number name years marks like this so if you want to retrieve any information from this database we have so many methods are there but easily quickly retrieve the information from this database for that use we are using the concept of indexing so what is indexing means index is a data structure which allows you to quickly retrieve records from a database file for example in the textbook so many pages are there in the textbook like thousand papers are there thousand pages are there in this thousand pages we need some topic like uh, <clears throat> in thousand pages we need some topic like uh, indexing so where is the indexing how can you find out in the textbook for this topic means then back of the textbook at the end of the textbook we have some index so how we are using index means index is like uh, topic wise and also page numbers are there that means particular topic is available in which page so whatever the in these topics all the data is available in the ascending order already we know i think everyone knows here a to z order so all the topics are mentioned in the a to z so in this what which topic we require we require indexing so we go for in a, a is not necessary b is not necessary go for in i where it started i with n indexing and the indexing is available where the topics are available all the page numbers are mentioned here so without necessary to check all the thousand papers you just go for indexing that is at the end of the textbook and where is the particular topic which topic you want according to the topic you go for directly that page number so this is the indexing concept it is a easy retrieval quickly retrieval the data from the database so that is the definition of index i think it is clear so index is a data structure which allows you to quickly retrieve records from a database file an index is a small table having only two columns so index is like a table table with contains how many columns two columns what is the two columns first one is the key second one is the pointer similar here also said two here also in, the, in this example also i gave two one is the topic name second one is the page number what is this page number page number is the pointer where the particular point is available it gives some direction in this pages the particular topic is available what is this topic topic is a key value we are searching particular topic which topic are searching here index so index is known as the key that means through which point we require through which point you are searching the search value is known as key value here i want to search index so index is the search value search key and pointer pointer means where it is available it points where the particular key is available so this is the real time example here topic name indexing is the key and where it is available that page number is like a pointer so indexing is a small table having only two columns first one is the key second one is the pointer the first column comprises a copy of the primary or candidate key of a table because you want to search through the particular key only so that's why the key should be unique either it be a primary key or a candidate key what about second one the second column contains a set of pointers for holding the address of the disk block where that specific key value is stored for example in this example indexing is the search key and where it is available the particular topic is available in which places a disk block where the data is stored that is everything is explained in the second place that is called as pointer okay is it clear that is the definition of indexing how the indexing is look like with two columns next we go for what is the types of indexing 
there are different types of indexing are there the main category so index types of indexing actually there are two different categories of indexes one is the primary index second one is a secondary index but here in between one more is there that is called as clustering indexing so main categories of indexing are two otherwise you write three methods one is a primary index clustering index secondary index again primary index will be divided into two one is the dense index second one is the sparse index now we'll explain what is the major main categories of indexing with examples here for easily identification i wrote one table so how many types of indexing you have one is a primary index secondary index and clustered index so easy method for uh, any competitive exams method how can you remember these types of indexing i will explain this is the ordered file and it is the unordered file and we take one is a key and non key these are the types of indexing how can you find how can you uh, differentiate these indexing means using these concept ordered unordered key non key what is ordered file i think you everyone knows ordered file means data is in the order either it has sorting order or ascending order or descending for example 1 2 3 5 10 17 25 30 2 etc this is known as ordered that is in the ascending order or reverse also the descending order is also known as ordered what is unordered unordered means not in the order and not in either ascending or descending for example 2 10 again 7 25 17 6 32 if you write like this the data is not in the ordered not in ascending order or not in descending order so this is example for ordered the file and this is the example for unordered okay now we go for what is key and non key already we know what is key means key is used for identifying a value uniquely that means the particular attribute is a key attribute it not accepted any uh, duplicate values non key means it accepted duplicate values now we go for primary index so which one is known as primary index means it's a combination of ordered and key any data with Uh, the data should be in the order and also key value that is called as primary see here what is primary key means primary index not key primary index means data should be in the order data should be in the order and also it contains what it contains it contains either primary key or candidate key pk means primary key ck means candidate key example like this data should be order 1 2 5 7 9 10 etc the data is in the order it is in the ascending order and no value is not repeated so that's why it is called as primary index next one is clustered index what is clustered index clustered index is a combination of ordered file and also non key that means in the clustered index in the clustered index data should be in the order but it not contain any key for example 1 1 2 2 2 4 4 5 5 6 6 Five, like this. This is example for clustered index. That means the data is in the order one, two, four, five, like this, ascending order. But non-key value. That means the values are repeated. One is repeated twice, two is repeated thrice, five is repeated twice. So it is not a primary key or candidate key. So this is the example for clustered index. Then we go for secondary index. So what is secondary index? Secondary index is a combination both. either the data is in the unordered and also key see here secondary index there are two secondary indexes are there depends upon the data we have to follow the data should be in the order unordered unordered means 3 again 1 5 7 again 2 like this the data is not in the order but it has key value that means no data is repeated 
that's why it is a secondary unordered data with key value and the least uh, data is the data is not in the order and it has no non key values also that means 3 3 3 1 1 5 7 7 2 2 2 like this this means the data is repeated so many times and those are not in the order also so this is the least worst case of searching pattern that is called as data un unordered with non key values this is also called a secondary index so these are the types of indexes in the next video i will explain briefly what is primary indexes examples of primary index and types also dense and sparse index this is only the main concept of what is the types of indexing thank you for watching my video if you like this video please subscribe my channel share it to your friends thank you